So in this video, I want to talk about the um, the UK, you know, manufacturing or creating two uh, Royal Navy aircraft carriers and sort of the issues around it and why it's probably not a good idea. And so um, if we get into this, so ambitious plans for the Royal Navy's two new aircraft carriers, each of which cost more than three billion pounds, will not be met without proper uh, funding. The government watchdog has said so the national order office um, highlighted concerns over missing key elements such as aircraft and support ships ships the ministry said it was it expects to meet its target of declaring an initial operating capacity uh, capability for the carriers by um, december 2020 the nao called the target um, tight so they're saying it's probably not likely going to happen and so if you see a ship this size would need a lot of support which is mentioned in the article um you know you need things like support ships and you're also going to need um, a lot of aircraft and top of the range um sonar and so the mod is yet to commit the funding required for enough lightning two fighter jets to sustain the carrier over their um, expected 50 year operating life the um, national audit office said in its report so you're going to need a ton of fighter jets and um, planes essentially and if you don't have enough then it makes this thing not that effective because the whole point of this thing is to carry a, carry a load of planes over a set amount of distance so that they can be used um, in say coastal attacks and things like that where you don't have an airbase nearby um, the MOD is, uh, we just mentioned that, um, uh, let's see, it also said the Navy had just one supply ship able to um, keep the carrier stocked with food and ammunition while on operations. And so in the immortal words of Eminem, what good's a machine gun if you're running out of ammo? And so if you don't, if you only have one supply ship, if anything happens to that supply ship during, um, you know, say, for example, a training operation or, um, you know, an actual war, um, then you're screwed because the people on the ship will starve. That's what will happen. Or they'll run out of bullets. And they won't be able to do anything. And it further warned the carrier's new crow's net airborne radar system, which forms a crucial part of his defence, was uh, running 18 months late, diminishing its capabilities for um, for its first two years. So basically, it won't be able to defend itself properly for, two year, uh, for 18 months until this radar system gets put in. And according to this, um, I don't know if it's still being developed. So it'll be developed in 18 months and then put in, or if it's going to be put in within, um, you know, put in after about 18 months. It's very hard um, to tell. So aircraft carriers have often been seen. Uh, this is some um, analysis from Jonathan Beale. So aircraft carriers are often seen as a symbol and tool of global reach and military power, but few countries can afford to build and operate them. Um, it's not just the uh, Royal Navy that staked its future on the two enormous Queen Elizabeth class carriers. It's the whole UK defence. So they're basically gambling that these two ships will be able to carry the U UK, which is just it's just bizarre and very stupid. The carriers need a small armada of ships for protection, refueling, and supplies. They need aircraft for logistics airborne early warning and uh, um uh, airborne early warning and to carry out strikes so uh, this like some of this like some of these bbc like um people um reports that give analysis such just really need to get a proofreader none of this is cheap but no one at the mod appears to be entirely sure of the cost overall remember the carriers um remember the carriers have been built to last 50 years which is not going to happen because nothing in this country is built to last um, what is clear is that all the elements of the carrier strike t will take a significant bite out of the defence budget at a time when it's already under strain. And so what the, the basically whoever's in charge of like the MOD is gambling that these two ship carriers will be um, will be uh, enough and it just isn't. Um, Labour MP um, Meg Hillier, chair of the Commons Public Accounts Committee, which follows the work of the um, National Audit Office, said the Navy was in danger of being left with a hollowed out with a hollowed out capa capability unless the issues were addressed. The Ministry of Defence had lofty ambitions for the carriers, but hasn't put its money where its mouth is. And she's absolutely correct. You know that the, these two things will not be enough, especially when the future of warfare is probably going to be um, AI, drone warfare, and um, cyber. So like things like hacking. Um, and uh, an MOD spokesperson said um, carrier strike is a complex challenge relies on a mix of capabilities and we have committed to investing in this capability which demonstrates the UK's global role despite the disruptions of COVID um, the carrier strike is on track for its first operation of deployment and what I'd love to see this thing is in some sort of NATO operation in which you know they get you know um, two opposing groups one to play the role of the um, the opposing army and what they'll do is if if they know there are only a f one or a few supply ships they'll just target the supply ships that's what will happen here and without a lot of supporting ships it's not going to be operational without a proper functioning radar system it's not going to be very good especially when if the russians or the chinese or the americans or whoever we're against um have a good enough um hacking capability where they can do damage to the ship sonar 
if they can block it out for even a few seconds or a few minutes, you're opening yourself up there to get attacked, especially when you're banking the nation's security on these two ships, when most of the time it's very hard to attack a country um, with a naval carrier unless they have um, a coast, essentially. So the, the country we're most likely to have any sort of fight with is, say, um, North Korea or Iran. And um, you can park this thing on the side, on the coast, so it'll give you a good entry point. But at the same time, um, without the proper funding, because these things are huge, these things are huge and they need a lot of support. Without that support, these things are easy targets. We've already seen that, you know, um, Iran used some weird suicide boat thing where they um, they rush your boats with like those little small boats with like lo loaded with bombs or something. They've done that to a, thing, a few American ships um, recently. They kind of tried to scare the American ships off. And um, if they do that and you don't have the right support um, in place to protect these ships, then these are pointless. They're going to be sitting ducks. So it's a very stupid thing, especially when it costs um, three, th over three billion each. So you're talking at least six or seven billion um, to build this. And I don't know if that even includes the support sh supporting ships you need, the supply ships, and also the aircraft carriers. When realistically, the you know the MOD should be investing more. The government should be investing more into AI um, drones, AI drones, and cybersecurity. Those are the three things that will play. Um, and obviously, nuclear technology. Those are the three things that will play a much bigger. Uh, part in the future of you know modern warfare ha 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 and so um rather than banking on these huge naval carriers which will get blown out of the water essentially um by you know fast russian bombers or whatever especially if our radar system is not up to date or not up to scratch it's what's going to happen and you've wasted a lot of money and you've banked wrongly especially if you think these things are going to last 50 years do you know how fast uh, military technology advances these things won't last 15 years it's very stupid there's a reason why countries like japan don't use these things anymore they're expensive they take up lots of space and you're gambling essentially on your nation's security and lucky for us, um, I'm hoping we don't get into any fights anytime soon because with plans like this in place, we don't stand a chance. And I would, you know, when this thing gets built and, you know, it comes fully operational, if it ever does, I would love to see this thing in a NATO drill. I would love to see it. But um, anyways, I'm just some guy with a keyboard and obviously these guys are the, um, the experts in the field. Um, and so I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Do you think we're, you know, do you think this is the, you know, the past is the future of warfare? Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.